Hi, I'm Mary and I live in Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm 55 years old and I first got interested in politics back when I was in high school. I was in a Catholic high school and I watched the rise of solidarity and I was so proud to be an American. I love democracy. I ended up learning Russian and I was a U.S. Foreign Service officer. I really wanted to just tell America's story to the world. I just really wanted to share really kind of the miracle it is America and American democracy with people all over the world. I remember crying with joy when the Berlin Wall came down. I truly believed that America was a shining city on a hill and a beacon of hope to people across the world. I married a guy who's a first generation, his parents are first generation immigrants. They came from Syria and boy, did they ever believe in the promises of America. Then 2016 happened and I really couldn't understand what happened, how the Republican Party could go astray. I did not vote for President Trump. And I was really just kind of appalled that somebody with three wives and no respect for family values, man that used bad language, who talked about women the way that he did. I could not understand how the Republican Party could get on board with that. And that America first rhetoric, the idea that America has nothing to share with the rest of the world, that we have no responsibility to anyone other than ourselves. My husband's a military man and he's engaged in humanitarian actions and nothing has made me as proud as watching Americans go out and respond to a crisis like the tsunami and uh, Asia. Nothing has ever made me so proud to be an American. And Donald Trump's dislike of immigrants, that is the American dream, is that everyone can come here and everyone can be an American and everyone is an American. And as an academic, I cannot understand someone who has no respect for expertise. The idea that the Trump administration is dismissing the advice of epidemiologists and national security professionals, they're dismissing military expertise, but more than anything, it's the politics of hate. I could not ever vote for Donald Trump. I will be voting for Joe Biden in 2020, and I hope you will join me. This chapter in America has to come to an end.